What is going on guys, it is me Kapo back with more news. Join us here as we look into the latest news, rumors and leaks that you should know. Including the most powerful wrench they have ever made. What can we expect from season 1 battle pass? What is going to be the next season's theme? What character skins will come in season 1 2022? And much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily code mobile news and leaks. Let's jump right into the video. We are going to kickstart the video with the crazy news. As you guys already know, we only have two epic range skins in the game. One of them is pretty old, but the other one, we got it recently from the Midnight Storm crate, which is still available in the store. And what is so special about this one is that you can one-shot, one-kill enemies with this range skin. I'm going to demonstrate this and I'm going to jump to farm. Normally, I don't land close to enemies as I want to loot comfortably, but today I'm going to land where the enemies land because I'm going to one-shot, one-kill them. And as you can see, I can one shot and knock out any enemy. I'm pretty sure even if they have armors, it is not going to change anything. Now imagine you are using this skin with the Poltergeist class. It's going to be epic. Moving on to the second news, what can we expect from Season 1 2022 Battle Pass? Now the latest news is we are going to get the following skins that you see on the screen. The Cassius 70 skin, Siren Scrapped skin, Dame Legial skin and Roach Sectors skin. But this leak is not 100% legitimate because three of these characters are exclusive to Call of Duty Mobile. I don't think they will make a Battle Pass like that. I mean maybe they will, who knows. We only have one Cassius skin in the game currently and we have two Dame skins and three Siren skins. And imagine getting one of these skins from these characters in the battle pass. I think that would be really amazing. So what weapons can we expect in the battle pass? The PPSH is going to be the 50 tier reward probably and we are going to get a Rytek skin and a Fennec skin. Things are still unclear about the next season's theme, but the data miners were able to find the theme song of the next season, and it sounds like this. I think the next season's theme is going to be about the Chinese New Year because the Chinese New Year is going to fall in season 1, 2022. And also there is another thing that I can say that next season's theme is going to be the Chinese New Year. That is the Chinese Nuketown. Chinese Nuketown is going to be available as a multiplayer map replacing the current Nuketown. So that is totally possible. Now it's time for some more news. We are going to get some more camos. It is unsure whether these are going to be grindable camos or paid camos because these lightning camos that are leaked are actually paid camos in Advanced Warfare. So maybe it's going to be available for a very cheap price or maybe we will have to grind for them. These camos are actually really cool because they are animated and also they are not so colorful or anything and really matches very well with the base weapons that are already dark colored. So what do you guys think? Are we going to get them as grindable camos or paid camos? So there you have it folks, the latest news and rumors that you should know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't yet, watch my other videos and I will see you guys in the next one.